Bahrain is keen to expand cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency at various levels in order to meet common aspirations, it has been stressed. This came during a virtual meeting between Ministry of Foreign Affairs Undersecretary and National Committee on the Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpiling and Use of Chemical Weapons and their Destruction Chairperson, Dr. Shaikha Rana Bintisa bin Dayal Khalifa, and IAEA Technical Cooperation Department for Asia and the Pacific Director Jane Abaya. As of today there are 4,653 positive cases of COVID-19 in Bahrain, out of which 4,593 are stable. 60 are in critical condition while 98 deaths have been registered. A total of 25,570 cases have been treated and discharged. The total numbers of people tested for COVID-19 are 621,362, stated the Health Ministry. Registered Bahraini event management companies have made an urgent appeal to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier to support the events management sector through the economic stimulus package and consider it as one of the worst hit in the kingdom amidst the COVID-19 crisis. In today's unprecedented times, there should be no restrictions on global humanitarian aid and protected areas and facilities must be expanded to include medical factories, masks factories and quarantine areas, said Bahrain's Justice Minister. He called for global cooperation in directing humanitarian aid efforts considering the current situation triggered by the outbreak of the COVID-19. The National Institution for Human Rights has launched an initiative to report abuse of workers obliged to work in open spaces between noon and 4 p.m. in July and August. The initiative follows the Labor Ministry's decision to ban outdoor work under the summer scorching sun. The NIR also called on employers in the private sector to provide face masks and ask all workers to use them in the workplace in order to reduce the spread of the COVID-19 among workers.